Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate the amount of ink we'll use based on a number of impressions or an amount of something that we're going to print. Okay, we're actually going to calculate, in theory, how much ink it'll take to do that. All right? Now, here in the U.S., we think uh, in gallons, usually, as far as ink is concerned. Okay, in one gallon. So that's the unit of consumption. That's what we're going to, that's what I'm going to calculate. How many gallons this particular job takes, okay? All right. Now, it just so happens that there are 3785.412 cc's in a gallon, okay? That's a conversion that I looked up. We looked it up and said, okay, there are 3785.412 cc's in a gallon, all right? But well, we're looking for BCM. So what I want to do is I want to calculate how many BCM there are in a gallon. All right, And that's why I started with CC because that's a metric unit that I can then use uh, to, uh, compatibly with BCM. All right, So let's look at this for a second. 3785.412. All right, That's how many CCs per gallon. Right? Now, let's think of, if we calculate how many BCMs in a CC, and then multiply it by this, we'll have calculated how many BCMs in a gallon, all right? So let's take a look at a CC. All right, a CC, cubic centimeter, actually equals a centimeter in this direction, a centimeter in this direction, and a centimeter in this direction, okay? All right, but it just so happens that in a centimeter there are 10 millimeters. So we got 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. Okay, and the reason I'm converting to millimeters is because remember I told you that a BCM is one cubic millimeter. So I'm going to figure out how many cubic millimeters there are in a cm and that's basically how many bcms there are in a cm by multiplying by that we'll get how many uh how many bcms in a gallon okay so 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters equals 1000 uh millimeters cube or cubic millimeters okay that's basically equals 1000 bcm okay so in one cc, there's a thousand BCM, and that's a very convenient figure because if there are 3,785.412 cc's in a gallon, and there are 1,000 BCM in a cc, all we need to do is multiply that by a thousand, and that's how many cc, how many BCM's there are in a gallon. So and that's easy. All we have to do is you see you've got a decimal there with three places. We just put a comma. So there are. 3,785,412 BCM per gallon, all right? Okay, now that is a basic number. We're gonna divide by that at the very end and that'll tell us how many gallons we have. So we'll let that set aside for now, okay? All right, so now let, let's set up a, a quick scenario. We're gonna operate a narrow web press that's 10 inches wide. Okay, and we're going to flood coat uh, 100,000 feet of it. Okay, so what does that mean? What that means is we've got an area. The web, the, the width is 10 inches. And because we're flood coating, uh, there's no repeat or anything like that. We're just going to think in terms of length, okay, of a foot. So length. is 12 inches, all right? Because I said that we're going to print 100,000 feet of this stuff, all right? So we're going to print. This is, if you take one foot of that flood-coated material, you have 10 times 12, you have 120 uh, square inches per foot, okay? So that's our area, all right? <clears throat> now, now what we need to do is say, okay, if we have 
that that much area per foot and we're printing a hundred thousand feet we multiply that by one hundred thousand feet all right and that's per, per, per foot per linear foot so what we have is one hundred thousand times one hundred twenty is we've got <clears throat> I hope I'm doing this right. I'm going to check with my calculator. I can do anything without that. So we got 120 times 100,000 equals 12 million. Okay, good. Equals 12 million square inches. Okay, these two cancel out. So now what we've got is 12 million square inches that we're printing. All right? All right. But now, what is the volume of the analog roll? We need to know that. So we're going to use a 4 BCM analog roll. All right? And I know I write all over the place, but you just got to follow it as I go. Uh, all right, so we're going to use a 4 BCM analog roll to do this, okay? But remember, we have to factor in, if you watch the previous uh, section of this uh, presentation, we have to multiply the BCM or the film thickness or whatever by the percent transfer, all right? So if we, if we have 4 BCM and 25% uh, of it transfers to the substrate, we're basically delivering 1 BCM of ink per square inch, okay? So if we take that 1 BCM and we multiply it by the uh, 12 million square inches, 1 BCM per square inch times 12 million equals 12 million. I might as well just take this out and say we've got 12 million BCMs of ink on that 12 million square inches of substrate because every square inch of that substrate has had one BCM of ink delivered to it, okay? So now, but, but that's not a very uh, useful measure. You know, even though we know a BCM is one millimeter cube, to say 12 million BCM, that's useless. However, we know that there are 3,785,412 BCM per gallon, and we're going to calculate in gallons. So all we have to do is divide that by 3,785,412 3, BCM per gallon, and what we get is... Well, let's do the math there. It's going to be something less than uh, four, probably. Twelve million divided by three million seven hundred eighty-five thousand four hundred twelve equals three point one seven gallons. That's it. If you use a four BCM analog roll. And 50% transfers to the plate, 50% transfers to the substrate. So you have 25% transferred to the substrate. You'll have 1 BCM, or 1 billion cubic microns per square inch, transferring to that substrate. If you have 12 million square inches, because you have uh, 10 inches wide by 12 inches long is 120 square inches, times 100,000 feet that I said we're going to print, we have 12 million and you divide it by 3,785,412 BCM per gallon, and there are that, because there are that many BCM per gallon, you get 3.17 gallons consumed. Now that doesn't factor in you spilled some, you, 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 know, you set up the job and you wasted some, or uh, you have some in the ink pump left over, stuff like that, so you, know, you have to factor those things in. But in theory, you'll have consumed 3.17 gallons. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Have a great day.